Smurfit Kappa is a world-leading paper-based packaging company that covers the whole paper-based packaging chain, from paper production to design and production of attractive, practical and innovative products. Smurfit Kappa has operations at about 370 locations worldwide. One of these is in Piteå in northern Sweden. This is where you will find Europe's largest craft liner mill, which every year produces over 700,000 tons of craft liner, a type of paper that is used primarily as the outer layer of corrugated packaging. Smurfit Kappa PTO also has an important role to play in the local area, as it is the municipality's largest private employer, with about 500 employees on its books. To describe the plant's paper production, we first need to head into the forest because this is where everything starts. Smurfit Kappa PTO is a craft liner mill because the paper is essentially made of virgin fibers, that is to say, with wood from the forest as the raw material. With forest as the source of our paper, sustainability is an important keyword. Vi är måna om att vår verksamhet bedrivs på ett ansvarsfullt sätt där våra råvaror och processer har ett hållbart ursprung. All vår massa ved som vi använder är certifierad för ett hållbart skogsbruk. Det innebär bland annat att vi har koll på var trädråvaran kommer ifrån och för varje träd som avverkas och planteras tre nya. After logging, the wood we use as our raw material is transported to the mill. The first thing that is done upon arrival is a measurement of the logs to assess its quality and volume. This check is carried out by an independent organization. Every day the mill consumes the equivalent of 150 trucks with pulp wood. Usually about 60,000 cubic meters of wood is stored here at the wood yard. This is usually enough for 10 days production. When the wood is unloaded, it is either placed on the wood yard or directly onto one of the feeder tables from where the wood is transported into the wood room. The mill has two separate lines, one for softwood and one for hardwood. The first thing that happens when the wood enters the wood room is that the logs are debarked in a debarking drum. The bark is then used as fuel in the plant's biomass boiler. After being debarked, the logs are chipped. The two lines have a combined capacity that enables them to chip 600 cubic meters of wood per hour. The chips are placed in so-called chip piles, with softwood and hardwood kept separate. The chips are then blown through large pipes all the way from the pile-up to the pulp mill. The chips need to be cooked to become pulp. White liquor is added during this cooking process. The wood chips are fed into the top of large continuous digesters. The mill has two digesters, one for softwood pulp and one for hardwood pulp. The wood chips are cooked under pressure for three to six hours and move slowly to the bottom of the digester. Raw wood contains lignin, which acts like a glue between the wood fibers. The cooking process breaks up the lignin and exposes the fibers. The process also releases chemicals, which are extracted and become weak liquor. Weak liquor is transformed to black liquor via a process whereby water is evaporated. Next, the black liquor is incinerated in a recovery boiler. This generates both energy and chemicals. The chemicals accumulate in the bottom of the boiler and are referred to as smelt. This smelt has a temperature of between 800 and 1000 degrees. The smelt is then processed in several stages. In the final step, a reaction occurs where white liquor and mesa are formed and separated. The white liquor is then returned to the cooking process. This is known as the liquor cycle and means that the mill has its own cycle for the white liquor needed in the process. The mesa, which is clay-like product, is burned in special lime kilns. Burnt lime is created in these lime kilns. This cyclical recovery of lime is called the lime cycle. Something else that is needed to produce paper is water. The mill pumps water in directly from the Peter River. The mill's usage of water is also cyclical. A three-stage wastewater treatment plant is used to purify the mill's process water. 
Bioreningen är i världsklass och det vatten som renas kan pumpas tillbaka till havet igen. Under reningsprocessen så bildas det ett slam som har så pass hög torrhalt så att vi kan förbränna det i vår biopanna. Det förbränns tillsammans med andra avfall och blir till energi istället. In other words, the biomass boiler incinerates sludge from the wastewater treatment plant together with bark from the logs debarked in the woodroom, sawdust and plastic rejects that have been sorted out from the recycled fibers. Both the biomass boiler and recovery boiler convert water into steam, which has a high temperature and high pressure. As a first step, steam is sent to two turbines, where it is used to produce electricity. More than half of the mill's total electricity consumption is produced here. Once the pressure of the steam has reduced, it is distributed through a steam network across the entire mill and is used as a source of energy in the production process. Let's return to the wood chips cooked under pressure for several hours. It is now time to refine and wash them to free the fibers so that these can be used for paper production. Soft wood chips are turned into brown pulp, while hard wood chips are turned into white pulp after bleaching. We use so-called TCF bleaching, which means the bleaching is totally chlorine-free. Once this process is complete, the brown and white pulp are placed in storage towers ahead of being taken onto the paper machines. Two byproducts are extracted in connection with the cooking process and the liquor cycle. Tall oil, which is used to produce biodiesel among other things, and crude turpentine, which is used to produce paint among other things. Another important byproduct is the secondary heat from the mill, which is used to provide district heating in the local area. Tack vare det goda energisamarbetet med Smurfit Kappa så har vi ett mycket väl utbyggt fjärrvärmenät i Piteå. Och Smurfit Kappa står för omkring 95% av behovet till Piteåborna eller kommuninnevånarna. Samarbetet har pågått sedan slutet av 70-talet. Det har utvecklats på olika sätt i positiv riktning och det har gjort att vi har kunnat göra investeringar i fabriken bland annat i en värmeväxlare och i en rökaskylare och det möjliggör då ett större uttag av värme från fabriken. Despite being a virgin fiber based mill, Smurfit Kappa PTO still uses some recycled fibers in its production. These are obtained from recycled corrugated board packaging transported to the mill in bales by train and truck. Once the residues and debris have been screened out, the paper is dissolved and the recycled fibers are mixed into the virgin fiber-based pulp. The mill has two paper machines producing the craft liner, one that makes brown surface paper and one that makes white surface paper. Vårt papper består alltid av två skikt. Ett toppskikt som blir utsidan av förpackningen och där vi alltid har färska fiber. Eh, och så ett eh, basskikt som blir insidan på förpackningen. Och här kan vi eh, lägga in också returfiber, det vill säga återvunnen fiber. Paper production itself begins with the pulp being mixed with water so that it only has half a percent of fiber content giving it a muddy water appearance. This is done to form the fibers correctly and make the paper high quality. The thin mixture of water and fibers is sprayed out onto a wire section. The paper web has a width of 6.5 meters. The water then has to be removed. More than 40 tons of water are dewatered from the paper web in 20 seconds. The paper is pressed and dried using cylinders heated by steam, then rolled up on big jumbo rolls. These weigh about 50 tons each. Every day the mill produces 6.5 meter wide paper, with a length that is the equivalent of the distance from PTO to Paris. Each jumbo roll undergoes testing at the laboratory to verify that the paper has the right quality. Det är ju självklart väldigt viktigt att vi testar 
allt papper så att vi ser att vi verkligen uppfyller de höga kvalitetskrav som vi har lovat våra kunder. Och vår Craftliner har ju en unik kombination av att vara starkt, fukttåligt och rent. Och dessutom är de hygieniska kraven viktiga eftersom en stor del av pappret används till livsmedelsförpackningar. The large jumbo roll is then transferred from the paper machine to a winder where we make reels of paper for the customers. The reels are between 600 and 3500 mm wide, depending on the order the customer has placed. The reels are then marked with barcodes and labels and are transported automatically to the paper warehouse. From the warehouse, most of the reels are then loaded onto trucks for transport to PTO port, then onto a vessel in order to be shipped onwards to customers in Europe. A fully automated loading system is used to do this, with the reels placed on loading arms, which are then slid into the trucks. Of the 700,000 tons of Craftliner the mill produces each year, about two-thirds are transported by vessels. The reels are also loaded by forklifts on trains and trucks for onward transport to the customers. Our customers are mostly European-based corrugated cardboard manufacturers who use our Craftliner primarily as the outer layer of their corrugated packaging. A large amount of PTO's Craftliner is delivered to Smurfit Kappa's own corrugated board factories, where sustainable, attractive, practical and innovative corrugated packaging is designed and produced for the final customer. Yes, this is what it looks like. The production of paper, from the tree in the forest, to the mill and on to the corrugated board manufacturer who uses it to make packaging. It is this packaging that is filled with a product that you order over the internet or buy in a store before you finally get the goods at home.